Welcome back to the Man Cave, everybody. I am the UP Gamer, and today we are going to play a five-color dragon deck. It's uh, pretty fun. It's not, it's not great and competitive at all, but it is pretty fun to play. Now, I start out three Llanowar Elves, three Fountains of Renewal, Druid of the Cowl. We got three Dragon Eggs, three Draconic Disciples, two Spit Flame, four Chromatic Lanterns, Dragon's Horde by two, uh, Nicol Bolas for two of them, Arcades the Strategist, Hellkite Whelp for two, Demanding Dragon, three of them, Lathless the Dragon Queen, two, three Volcanic Dragons, we got Palladium Moors, Chromium, and Daragaz. And then a bunch of bunch of lands, and then the multicolored gates as well. All right, jumping into a game here. Right now, I am currently 14 wins, 16 losses with this deck. It's definitely all over the place. Yeah, it makes a big difference of what you're playing against and how you draw. You need to ramp quick, and you need to have a lot of mana in your hand to start to do well with this deck. A and beyond the play is very helpful. Nurbel K. Now we're on the play. That is not a great opening hand for us. I do think I should probably just keep it. I don't have a lot of luck when I mulligan with this one for some reason. <laughs> or really. Any deck when I mulligan, I seem to have no luck. All right. Now the big reveal. What are we playing? Come on, Nurbel. Nurbel. Nurbel, okay. Well, did you disconnect? What's the issue, man? Wool man? Okay, well, we need to draw land. Blue white. Smith Prodigy. Well, that's not land. No attacks. Alright, what are you going to play now? Do it. Something unique. A Gear Smith Prodigy. Plus one, as long as you can control an artifact. What else you got? Yeah, I was playing this earlier. I had some uh, very interesting matchups. And if you can get your mana out quick enough and have enough of it, this deck can be brutal. Laughless is very big in our success chances with this deck. Nurble taking their sweet time. Doobie doobie doo. I always want to try and click on those little lizards, but I'm never quick enough. Well, another land, that's helpful. Pass our turn. Uh, a lantern would be good. A chromatic lantern. Oh, good. Mm. 
No, they're attacking. This is why I have the fountain in here. Well, that's pretty nice. I assume they have a counter. And they're going to counter the cowl, the druid of the cowl. Or not. What do I know? Teshar, Ancestor's Apostle. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with converted mana cost from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's nice. That's a nice. And I got no black. I should be able to cast that. What am I missing? Oh, I can. No, I can't because I don't. I don't have blue or black. That is an issue. See, I'm a genius. I just put it out there, and then it shows me. Hey, uh, dummy, you can't cast that. But we did get out of whelp anyway. <laughs> well, there you go. You see the excellence of this deck crushing him. Her, it, Nurbel K. All right, we'll jump into another here. I just want to get a good uh, a good starting hand so I can show you what this deck can actually do. Well, now if one of these happened to be like the Chromatic Lantern, this would be a fine starting deck. Or Llanowar Elf, Druid of the Cowl. I'm going to take it because I don't have a, a lot of choice. I do have choice, but not a good choice. Hopefully we draw something that can help us ramp up. Well, that's something. Alright, what are we playing? Merfolk or just mono green? Now our hand is starting to look better. Dryad Green Seeker. Well, look at that. We got all kinds of all kinds of stuff we can use now. Now we can start playing dragons. Yay! I told you guys this deck could work. <laughs> All right. He gets a ramp card. We're going to play Bolus. Discard something. Me opponent. Next turn, I gotta play something else. I can do that and draw a card, hopefully, get a land. Or not. <laughs> Still got the old three lands, three mana. Well, there goes Nico Bolas. He is stuck on three mana, too, it looks like. So I have five mana. What to do, what to do, what to do. And that is what we're going to do. Maybe they'll sacrifice somebody or not. Just take five to the face, but it gives us a defender. Unless he's got crushing canopy or plummet. Oh, he did. He did sacrifice. This is a vine matter. 
that's not really that much of a concern for us. Just pull me a straight land, a swamp. <laughs> well, I will play that. And then we're going to play out. Sure, make it blue mana. It's special. Then we'll do a Dragon's Horde. Then we're going to just draw a card. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, that could be a big, big deal for us. No attacks. If he attacks with Divine Mare, I'm going to block. He got a land. Yeah, I got a feeling his deck can probably get pretty big. Obviously, he's got big creatures because he's got Colossal Majesty. Our deck is no slouch. Well, there you go. I guess I won't be blocking the Vine Mare. Go laughless. Yep. Put our tokens on. And we're going to play the Llanowar Elf. The man is not important, but just for an extra blocker, if he's got some other kind of uh, combat trick where he can stomp down our, our Dragon Queen. What you got now? <laughs> that ain't good. I got no choice but to block. And we in serious trouble. That is pretty much all our mana. Yeah, if we're... We done. You can see how excellent this deck is. We did get a win. But we don't really know where that game was going. So I got one more here. One more in me. All right, who are we going to play this time? All right, all right, all right. Soul Twister. That's a pretty cool name. I like it. I like the artwork on that. Two. That's a pretty good at starting hand for us. Not bad. Oh, it looks like we could be playing Is It? Or, or Is playing Is It? We Is playing Is It? Is It? Oh, good. Enigma Drake. And it's a Drake deck. Goblin Electromancer. Boom. Do it. Slap that bitch down. Nope. Popped. And 
Union, chart a course. Um, still can't cast because I don't have any any blue or any black. See, I learned. Last time, I didn't know. This time, I knew right away. Couldn't cast it. But now we can. You're going to take five to the face or get rid of one of your drinks. Five to the face. That'd be a good band name. Five to the face. Well, obviously he is going to shock or something, but I got a block anyway. Shock or lava coil. <coughs> do, do, do. That's better for us, uh, just because he's got a discard. He's going to be dead beginning of the next star when that guy attacks anyway. We'll get out another mana. Then we can cast Laughless next turn. Well, three of his four lava coils are gone. Well, man, that's game. So, overall, <laughs> we did very shitty in this video. <laughs> But you can see, if you can get your stuff rolling, you can actually have some fun with it. I did not. But that is, uh, that's going to be the end of the video for today, guys. Thanks for coming by the Man Cave. Please subscribe and like the video. If you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. And have a nice day.